<clears throat> Maybe you didn't read this in the Huffington Post. <coughs> Man, I'm struggling now. The Humane Society of the United States, which evidently has the acronym HSUS. Health Society. Yeah, that makes sense. It announced this week that it has filed an SEC complaint against Smithfield Farms. Perhaps you know them as like the world's biggest or maybe the country's biggest pork producer. The large pig producer that supplies pork for McDonald's divisive limited edition McRib sandwich. Get that big stuff out of here. <clears throat> divisive yes limited edition well i guess only because they offered once a year right around now which typically isn't barbecue season bad marketing the complaint which is posted in its entirety online alleges that the pigs living conditions are cruel and unusual citing reports of pigs covered in blood and sows being confined to tiny gestational grates, which is illegal in some states. That's a little broad. Some states. Well, there's other states that evidently think that's all right. Uh, this isn't the first time animal rights groups or even HSUS has targeted Smithfield for its record on animal welfare. In December 2010, the HSUS got a hold of gruesome footage of Smithfield's farms facility, leading respected figures, dare I say, top men, like Mark Bittman, to call for a boycott of meat from the company. Isn't that the minimalist, Mark Bittman? I, I, I think I've ever done him on the show. He's shunned me. Indeed, this most recent complaint seems more like the latest salvo in an ongoing dispute than like a breaking development specifically occasioned by the McRib, an unsympathetic analysis of the HSUS action would probably lead to the conclusion that the group is trying to complain, is tying its complaint to the McRib in order to drum up public attention for the cause. The sandwich, after all, has a long... What am I reading here? The sandwich, after all, has long been a lightning rod for press coverage. <laughs> <coughs> What do you mean, lightning rod for press coverage? We never talk about it on this show, ever. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, that's not to say that the McRib is some kind of pristine product of nature, of course. Before the HSUS complaint surfaced, several media outlets had conducted investigations into the... Man, I love this word. I'm going to use this word 20 times in the next hour. Uh, many outlets had conducted investigations into the myriad of bizarre ingredients that go into the boneless rib patty in the center of the sandwich. The pork bits that make up the meat include tripe. What? Tripe. What? Heart. What? And scalded stomach. Nothing. You don't want any part of that, Rod? Nothing. All right. Uh -oh. I don't want, I don't know. Who wants tripe, heart, and scalded stomach? Let me tell you something, bitches. Not up in here. Not up in here. Not up in here. No way. Alleged. Uh, that's bad enough. But the chemical additives that go into the sandwich are even worse. Even worse than tripe, heart, and scalded stomach. <laughs> no, John, I've never eaten bologna. It's your time to leave. Beat it. Allegedly, when the additives aren't binding lung and liver bits together, they're used for keeping yoga mats springy and shoe soles white. There it is. That's the little report I got. Yeah, meat glue. That's right, Diane. Oh, uh, let me find here. HuffingtonPost.com. Uh, imagine you could just search McRib Lawsuit and then Humane Society or something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> Look, I understand that uh, McDonald's is a marketing genius machine, that they take this horrific sandwich. Look, uh, be honest, you rat bastards, everybody but Diva. 
who's eaten one? Because I know some of you have because you put it on my Facebook page like you're getting over on me. Who's eaten one and what do you like about it? You tell me what you like. You barbecue enthusiasts. You tell me what you like about the sandwich. Why I'm being crazy. I'm not trying to go out. Well, let me first say this. If I ate one, I would probably not want to go out and get another one if I found out that it had tripart and scalded stomach in it. That would probably be my last McRib. Or whatever else had tripart and scalded stomach in uh, liver and lung bits. Liver and lung bits. Dave Bosca, do... Uh, do certified Angus beef have tripart, scalded stomach, and liver and lung bits in it? Huh? Give me some of that. I don't want to think what's in the hamburger, Diane, because I like McDonald's hamburgers. They're yummy with their f- with their fat, fat and cheese melty fat. fat. Love them. <coughs> I have a feeling at least it's from like a cow or maybe a horse at least. That runs, but I guarantee you that ain't no freaking pig that's in that McRib now. I guarantee it. It, it keeps yoga mat springy. <laughs> it's your choice. I'm just saying. But I could out all of you people that visit my Facebook page. You've seen those people that put that on there. The people are eating it. I agree with John. It's nostalgia. Hog malls. Uh, aren't those like chitlins? Those are pig intestines, I believe. Hog malls and chitlins. I used to hear uh, rappers rap about that in uh, rap songs. Hog malls and chitlins. Anybody have any chitlins? Is that better to eat? Is it better to eat just to go into the pig's guts and pull out their poop shoots and eat them than uh, eat McRib that has scalded stomach, heart, liver, and lung butter or whatever? Ugh, I don't know, man. I mean, I believe is oh, <laughs> Mojo Bricks. <laughs> what? Get get that big stuff out of here. Uh, Mojo Bricks. Sexual molestation of children is not show fodder. Sorry, we're not going to feature that in this store. Um. I believe in using every part of the animal, but at some point, maybe you don't have a problem with uh, constitutes beef. Of course, I always draw the line at pork. I'm telling you right now, my wife had uh, wouldn't bring certain standards up in pork. We would be headed for divorce court. You'd see me on television with Judge Joe, whoever it is that does divorce court these days. I don't know. Just saying, you need to be aware of what's happening. For the McRib 